Ecter, Esther, 3. After these things did King Ahaz Barosh promote Eth Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the Agagi, and advanced him, and set Eth his seat above all the princes that were with him, and all the king's servants that were in the king's gate, bowed and reverenced Haman, for the king had so commanded concerning him. But Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence. Then the king's servants, which were in the king's gate, said unto Mordecai, Why transgress you at the king's commandment? Now it came to pass, when they spoke daily unto him, and he hearkened not unto them, that they told Haman to see whether Mordecai's matters would stand, for he had told them that he was a Yahudi. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath, and he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone for they had showed him at the people of Mordecai. Wherefore Haman sought to destroy at all the Yahudim that were throughout the whole kingdom of Achas Varosh, even the people of Mordecai. In the first month, that is the month of Nichan, in the twelfth year of King Achas Varosh, they cast Pur that is, the lot, before Haman, from day to day and from month to month, to the twelfth month, that is, the month Adar. And Haman said unto king Echash Varosh, There is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the provinces of your kingdom, and their laws are diverse from all people, and neither keep they at the king's law. Therefore it is not for the king's prophet to suffer them. If it please the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed, and I will pay, pay ten thousand talents of silver to the hands of those that have the charge of the business to bring it into the king's treasuries. And the king took at his ring from his hand and gave it unto Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the Agagi, the Yahudim's enemy. And the king said unto Haman, The silver is given to you, the people also, to do with them as it seems good to you. Then were the king's scribes called on the thirteenth day of the first month, and there was written, according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenants, and to the governors that were over every province, and to the rulers of every people of every province, according to the writing thereof, and to every people after their language. In the name of King Ahashverosh was it written, and sealed with the king's ring. And... The Sepharim were sent by posts into all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, and to cause to perish at all the Yahudim, both young and old, little children and women, in one day, even upon the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month of, rather, which is the month Adar, and to take the spoil of them. Or pray. The copy of the writing for a commandment to be given in every province was published unto all people, that they should be ready against that day. The posts went out, being hastened by the king's commandment, and the decree was given in Shushan the palace, and the king and Haman sat down to drink, but the city Shushan was perplexed 